welcome to Princess Cruises. We're on the Island Princess here. I'm gonna give you a ship tour. This ship is very beautiful. One of the oldest ships of Princess, I think. So, let's go. The ship starts on deck four where you'll find the medical center and water embarkation platforms. Other than staterooms, deck five has the Bordeaux dining room, one of two dining rooms on the ship. There is also the Princess Plaza, which is basically the hub of the boat, where you can relax and socialize. Even though this is an older ship, I really enjoyed how elegant everything looks. There is often musicians playing throughout the day and other activities. The Good Spirits Bar is here, which hosted some drink making classes during the voyage, and is where I like to get a cocktail before dinner. This is where you will also find guest services in the Captain's Circle Loyalty Spot where they host meetups. At the bow of the ship, Deck 6 has one level of the theater where you will watch the larger performances. The second dining room is here as well. Each of the dining rooms served breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and the Bordeaux dining room on level 5 served afternoon tea. Another level of the plaza is here, but consisted of all the shops on board. You can find clothing, general items, souvenirs, alcohol, cosmetics, and jewelry. The shops host events for you to attend and get discounts and free items. For instance, I attended an Effie jewelry auction and won a wheel necklace. Next to the shops is the Princess Casino and Bar. The casino is pretty small, but it has what you need. Along the hall, you will find the photo gallery where you can purchase the professional photos you will take along your voyage. The Explorer's Lounge and Bar hosted things like bingo, game nights, performances, and serves as another place where you can relax and socialize. Since you're eating so much on board, it's a good idea to get your sweat on in the fitness center. It's pretty small, but it did have treadmills and some machines, as well as a small studio. Deck 7 has the top level of the theater here. Next to the theater, you will find the Wheelhouse Bar. I really enjoyed this area of the ship because they served good drinks and I really loved the nautical decor. They hosted trivia and other activities in this bar as well. Around the plaza on this deck is the smoking lounge and crooners bar. Every day there was a musician playing the piano at the bar. Further down the ship you will find the wedding chapel. They did host religious services here on certain days. You will then come across the Fine Arts Gallery. The gallery hosted auctions throughout the cruise, and I'm not gonna lie, I did buy a painting or two. The two specialty restaurants are here, which is Sabatini's, an Italian restaurant, and Bayou Cafe, which is Cajun-inspired and a steakhouse. Both restaurants are at an additional cost. Bayou Cafe has extra space where they hosted activities like arts and crafts and dancing. Deck 8 is the last deck that you can find the plaza. Around, you will find the Future Cruise Center where they can help you book your next cruise. You will find the Shore Excursions Desk for all you need to know about going ashore, and an internet cafe in case you need a computer. Here is where the library is. There was lots of seating here, but the books, I have to say, were pretty lacking. Decks 9, 10, and 11 are just state rooms. This is the perfect time to say, though, that each deck has a laundry room and an iron if you need it. You can also buy laundry detergent, which is super handy. Deck 12 is mostly staterooms, but if you have kids, this is where you'll find the clubhouse for ages 3 through 12. Now to everyone's favorite, the Lido Deck. At the bow of the ship is where Horizon Court is. This is your buffet restaurant for all meals. Outside is the Lido Pool and Jacuzzi Tubs. There's also a bar and pizzeria. I have to say, the pizza was very good. The Lotus Pool is right next door. This is the indoor pool where you will find more lounge spots and an ice cream bar. Here, there's also a bar and two saunas for you to use. Not many people know that. Further down is the spa and salon. They have several treatment rooms for massages and other therapies, as well as a steam room and sauna room for an additional cost. You can access lockers here too. At the back of the deck is the teen lounge. Deck 15 has the grill and mini lounge spots where you can watch the daily movies. Further back of the ship, you will find the sanctuary, which you can rent private cabanas for an additional cost, unless you have a room that includes it. The last deck is deck 16. There's a small pool and sports court here. You can play basketball, shuffleboard, and there's a large chess set. That's the Island Princess Ship Tour. I hope it was helpful for you on your next cruise with Princess. If you're looking for a travel agent to help you book your next cruise, visit my website listed in the comments.